All right, guys, weekly stimulus for July 3rd through the 9th, 4th of July weekend. Have a good weekend for you guys that we won't see at the gym that are on vacation. All right, um, today, bench press week three, four reps on an every two minute clock, um, heavier than last week. Again, you know, it is uh, only the third week, so make sure you're hitting your numbers. It's really important that you hit the reps. So if you get to weights or you're not feeling it, again, I can't say this enough, go back down and wait so you can hit your numbers, okay? All right? Today, uh, conditioning, um, we have an interval. It's a 100-meter run, 10 total bar, 40 double unders. You get a 30-second break in between the rounds, so you have a total of two minutes of breaking. So you got about 10 minutes to do the work. You should be getting rounds done in two minutes, all right? Go big on the total bar, all right, with the double unders, the run and the break, you're probably going to have a good 90 seconds between total bar sets, maybe longer. So go big. All right. Um, Tuesday is Chad. We're going to have one big monster class. All right. Chad is a ridiculous amount of volume rep wise. It's 1000 step ups for time. It's on a 20 inch box for every person. All right. Regardless, we're going to have a couple of scales at the gym. There's a partner version that you can do for 1,000 where each one of you do does 500, all right? Um, there's another version you can do 1,500 where each partner does 750, all right? Guys, this is a re really extreme high volume workout, okay? All right? Um, I suggest to you guys that are doing this like from an RX standpoint, um, you know, I would take a day off the next day, you know, and just rest because it's a lot of reps, okay? All right, obviously we'll go over the logistics of this workout, but if you do wanna partner up with somebody, um, you could be able to share a box where they would step up and then you would step up. It's a nice way to have a kind of like break kind of included into the workout while your partner is going. Um, and it's still a really challenging uh, version of the workout. All right, so again, Chad on Tuesday, one class, you can sign up for that. Um, now it's available. All right. Wednesday, we're doing a three minute AMRAP interval for five rounds. It has a buy in of a 300 and 250 row. Time remaining, you'll complete max rep, max rounds of wall walk, rope climb, wall ball. We did something like this last week where we did rope climb, wall walk, and I think it was deadlift. Okay. All right. You'll sub wall ball in instead. You will pick up where you left off. So if you finish with six wall ball, after your buy-in on the next round, you'll go ahead and do seven and so on and so forth. All right, you have a three-minute clock on the rest. Coaches, bring out half the amount of rowers for the class. So if you have 16 people, you need eight rowers, all right? One group works on the three, the other group rests on, the, on, on that uh, interval, and then you flip-flop, all right? Um... Yeah, one rope climb, uh, one wall walk, 10 wall ball. That is Wednesday. Thursday, we have a uh, barbell chipper. Okay, so you'll run 50 deadlift. Run 40 clean. Run 30 shoulder to overhead. Run 20 chest to bar or regular pull-ups. Run 10 bar muscle up or chest to bar or regular pull-ups and 100 meter run. When we do workouts like this, guys, all right, because of the volume of the deadlift, the, the weights are the same. So the same way you, you weight you use for the clean is what you're going to use for the deadlifts. It's, we understand that it's light, all right? But it's a lot of volume, and we want you to move quickly through it, okay? All right, so if you're one of those people and you're like, oh, well, it's, it's light for the deadlift, but it's heavy for the push jerk or the shoulder to overhead, yeah, we, we, we totally get that, all right? It's designed that way. Okay, all right? So you should have no problem motoring through the deadlift. The people that continue to, I'm gonna add weight for the deadlift, take it off for the clean, take it off for the shoulder to overhead. We do that sometimes, but not Thursday. Pick one weight, move through it quickly and efficiently, all right? And get all the runs and the work in, all right? Because there's a, there's a handful of running here, all right? So you gotta consider the amount of volume on the bar and on the running. That is Thursday. Friday's week four of our strength. We're down to four reps every three minutes on a five minute clock. Last week we did five and fours. 
okay? All right, um, this week is, um, I'm sorry, last week was all fives. Um, that was on the bench press. Um, it's four reps this week, heavier than last week, all right? It's a little less volume, it's five less reps, so you should be able to get a little heavier, all right? Um, the conditioning on Friday is 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, with burpees over the bar, not facing, between every set, okay? So 15 hang power snatches, the barbells are very light so that you can be aggressive, 15 overhead squats, and then 9, 12, 12, and 9, 9, 9, and 9, and 6, 6, and 9, 3, 3, and 9, and so on, all right? Um, pick a weight you can move, all right? Again, if you're breaking up the rounds of 15, 12, and 9 multiple times for for Friday stimulus, it's too heavy. So make a weight change, all right? Again, I always say this. Get away from thinking, oh, heavy and slow, but I finished is good. It's not good, all right? Fast and light and efficient and weights that you can move quickly is going to allow you, all right, to move heavier weights quickly, all right? So please consider that. Saturday is called Back in the Saddle. It has an 800-meter row. It has 50 dumbbell snatches. It has 30 calorie 24 on the assault bike, all right? So this is another one of those days. The meters are the same on the girls, 800, 50 dumbbell snatches. So if you're breaking a lot of times, all right, multiple times on the dumbbell snatches, this is just gonna take you a long time. Has a three minute break in between, there's three rounds, so you have six minutes of total breaking, so that limits the amount of your total time to work, all right? So uh, again, consider these um, workouts, 800 meter row, I mean, it's gonna take you probably three, four minutes, all right? Girls, longer. 30, 20 on the calorie, all right? It's gonna take you at least two and a half, three minutes, all right? So again, a um, lot of volume, all right? But you do wanna move a little quicker because you are getting a three minute break in between, all right? Uh, every four minutes times five on Sunday um, for 20 minutes. Um, that's a run buy-in. 30 sit-ups and time remaining, you'll do dumbbell bench press. You'll get a five-minute break. You'll alternate EMOM into a couple of uh, core stability exercises um, and strength exercises, chin over the bar hold, and a Superman hold. That's our week, all right? Enjoy your holiday.